this year, the Patriots were accused of deflating balls during their football games, and it was a scandal that was accurately referred to as deflate gate. Now there was an investigation into this to figure out who knew about it and who was responsible, who was the catalyst for this type of cheating. And the investigation found that Tom Brady very likely knew what was going on and very likely was the catalyst behind this huge scandal. Now according to uh, the reports, and this is reported by the Huffington Post, based on the evidence, it is also our view that is, it is more probable than not that Tom Brady, the quarterback for the Patriots, was at least generally aware of the inappropriate activities of McNally and the other guy, uh, Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski. Yes, that's the way you say it. Yastrzemski. <laughs> 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 he has the hardest name. Involving the release of air from Patriots game balls. By the way, Yastrzemski is also referred to as Yaz, and for the sake of my sanity, I will refer to him as Yaz for the rest of this uh, story. Now, uh, they managed, the, the investigators managed to obtain uh, different messages that Tom Brady sent back and forth to these two individuals. Now, these guys actually worked in the locker room, they worked with the equipment, and they were the ones that were told, allegedly, to deflate the balls. Now, I have uh, an example of messages sent between McNally and Yaz. One person says, McNally, uh, Tom sucks, referring to Tom Brady, mm. I'm gonna make that next ball a fucking balloon. Yaz says back to him, talk to him last night, he actually brought you up and said you must have a lot of stress trying to get them done. I told him it was, he was right though. I checked some of the balls this morning, the refs fucked us, a few of them were at almost 16, they didn't recheck them uh, after they put air in them. And then uh, McNally responds, fuck Tom, 16 is nothing, wait till next Sunday. And then Yaz responds back, oh my God, spaz. Huh. So in that message, you can kind of tell that Tom Brady had a say in how the balls were either inflated or deflated. And that's the reason why the investigators now think that he had something to do with this scandal. Yeah, I, I don't, I mean, I don't follow this super closely. When I do watch football, it does tend to be the Patriots. So maybe I'm a little bit biased and my somewhat disinterest in this. Obviously, you, you can't have teams cheating, especially habitually cheating, as I keep hearing the Patriots do. But, I mean, their their inability to have any sort of penalties for it, you know, before the Super Bowl, I, I can't imagine that this, this long after it, there's going to be all that much pressure to do something about it, especially when you find out that they've apparently been doing it for a long time, that other teams do it as well. If they're going to crack down on the Patriots, they have to crack down on all the other teams as well. It would seem like. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, I don't, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what the consequences are going to be. But it's clear that they had an unfair advantage. And so I think, and look, I'm not a sports fanatic. I'm not a sports expert. And so I'm not going to sit here and pretend to know what people's thought process is on this story. But I know that from my perspective, this makes me think that the Patriots aren't really as good as they seem, mm -hmm. right? So any type of Super Bowl that they've won is now questionable in my mind because they had that unfair advantage of deflating the ball. Yeah. Uh, t Tom Brady, my bullshit detector went off when he was given that press conference right after the, with the, when he had his uh, winter hat on, remember that? Uh -huh. Press conference and he's standing there. I would never do, and, oh, jeez. Uh -huh. It's just, come, it was so obvious that he's lying and nothing will, I mean, people don't give a shit that uh, Ray, you know, Ray Rice is going to be back in. The guy from the Vikings is going to be back. No one gives a shit about anything. About the crimes they commit. About the saying. crimes they commit. As yeah. long as you can play well. Uh, they, and they, yes, they, they've been caught before doing lots of stuff. Nothing ever happened. The head coach got caught stealing uh, information illegally about their practices and the plays they were going to do. Right? That was them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, nothing's going to happen. It's the NFL. It's all about money. It is yeah. all about money, and people are obviously very entertained by the sport, so they're willing to overlook things like this. But again, I mean, I just look at the Patriots now, and I think to myself, I don't know, are you guys really that good? Yeah. You couldn't grab the ball when it was fully inflated? It seems, it seems especially to the, to the little extent that I actually do follow, it seems super short-sighted by them. I mean, I don't know about in past instances in which they did it, but from the analyses that I read, it wasn't a big enough difference that the game would have gone differently, and they should have known that they had enough of an advantage that they didn't need to rely on this, especially when they've had uh, previous uh, critiques of their, their bending the rules. It seems like yeah. maybe you want to, when the, the eyes of the entire nation are on you, maybe you don't want to do it then. There's also some evidence indicating that Tom Brady gave some gifts to these two guys, yes. either to keep them keep their mouths shut or to do exactly what Tom Brady wanted. Now these is the 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 
reason behind it is speculation at this point, mm -hmm. but the investigation did find that McNally, for some reason, also received valuable items autographed by Tom Brady the week before the AFC Championship game, uh, as well as other games, the report said. Coincidence. Just a coincidence. Just a coincidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah.